everyone, I'm Keychain. Today we've got update 6.13.0. Now let's get straight into the update because there's a lot to cover today. Now the first thing I want to talk about is new airship parts. So when you go into your airship, you can go to enhance and then click one of the airship parts on the side and then you can see here they are. And the stack gains are of course massive. Um, they're also quite expensive to craft but you know this is just every time <laughs> these these updates are huge so going from you know troop attack going just to the basic you're going up to 433 percent troop attack from where I've got my you know epic and flawless um, troop attack for sky gold I'm gonna in huge stats just for updating um, and you can look at the parts showcase on the top right and that will show you you know you can see how high they go from basic all the way up to the very top look at this 764% for troop attack defense and health if you legendary max these out that's just insane and 2293 for the other stats like getting just these is going to negate so many of the older items but the other thing that i'm super excited about now you guys know i'd like to do honor chest opening videos but the last two have not had the stuff that i wanted in it so i've been saving keys for a while now look at these airship challenger chests they've got the fully crafted pieces in here they've got the basic um items for the bearing, the core, you know, all of them. So, I will be doing honor chest opening video as soon as I get to 120. Um, when I do that, we'll be going over how many items I got, the value of the materials that we got, all that stuff. And I'll be doing two of them this month. Um, I've got enough to do 120 during this honor challenge, and then another 120 in 14 days when it resets again. So as soon as I can max this out and get all the chests I need, uh, I'll be doing a video for that. Um, it's also possible for me to do like multiple videos with 60 instead and do four of those. I don't know how people feel about that. Let me know in the comments um, if you like the 120 all at once or if you would like it in smaller chunks. Um, I can, you know, I can adjust for that. It'd be more videos, but if people want to watch more of the same thing, you know, I'm okay with it. All right, moving on. They did some optimizations for the rewards on Darklands, on Underworld, <laughs> Underworld Gates, and UAC. Well, we can't see those optimizations yet. Um, when you try and click Darklands, it says the event's not open. Um, when you go to Ultimate Alliance campaign, this one, the most recent one that ended yesterday, is still active, so it shows the old rewards. So we won't see those for two weeks. We can see the Underworld Gates rewards. Um, they increased a little bit. They added, so let's scroll all the way over here to Nightmare, and let's look at this guy. So the thing that's different is they added, I think they added the Sky Gold in here, um, based on what it was before I think it was still the old one but that's all I see like that's the only thing I can think of is the you know it's one stage back on coat of arms and now one stage back on the airship parts so uh, that's for that piece now they said they added a kingdom map what is it a kingdom map visual effects um, that's the 2D, 3D, but look at this, the HD, standard, and smooth. So, I don't know what the difference is for those yet. Um, I'm guessing smooth, you know, tries to tone things down a little bit to make your game run smoother. Uh, I think my phone is capable of running HD, so I'm going to leave it there. But now they've added some, you know, some choice in there. Another thing they said they optimized was the process for collecting your daily VIP when your VIP is maxed out. Um, I can't see that yet. I might be able to see that 
at reset, um, but just be aware that they made a change there. Now another one that's actually cool, I, th I think was pretty cool looking is, um, check this out. Well, let's start a rally. And if I can find something to rally. So let's start a rally on this and watch what happens. So you can you use, you can choose you know and tell people what kind of troops that you want to send. But now watch what happens when you click somebody's join a rally. So it has the troop display there, and you could drop that down to see what type of troops are in the rally. Oh, I need to oh I need to update that formation. I don't even have any tier 12s in there. But you could see that he completely ignored <laughs> that I that I um, asked for distance in this rally, and he said infantry and cav. Uh, more people are sending cav, so they're not paying attention. But it is what it is. If they want to lose troops to it, I'm not going to lose any troops. So people filling my rally, and you could see that the number of troops is going up, and you can see exactly what type of troops there are. So I think that piece was cool. Uh, they said they updated the chalice and loudspeaker um, options. So I don't, I didn't see what they did for loudspeakers, um, other than you know, I, I just can't see it. But hopefully, the optimization for the chalice in Darklands means that the notifications aren't popping up right in front of the checkbox. So you can actually send your chalice on a march without having to wait for um, March notifications and stuff to go away. Now, the next major thing here is the Tide of Darkness event is back. So Tide of Darkness event will start tonight at reset. That's nine hours from now. I do have an older video um, about this event. That was when I was first starting off. So I'll probably redo the video for this. Um, but for me to redo the video on how it works, I need to see if they made any fundamental changes to the event. Um, they haven't said that they did that, but you never know. So I want to make sure there's no fundamental changes, but if it stays the same, um, basically you're going to gather resources and kill threats to get crates, and then you use the crates and oh, it was like crates and pieces to create banners, and you extend, you extend your alliance territory out in all directions to try and reach these towns. When you reach the towns, you attack the towns, um, kill them, and then there's a damage ranking reward for how much damage you've done on the town. And what it was like last time, the towns had nowhere near enough hit points. Um, I had a hard time, a lot of people had a hard time even spending their daily allotment of attacks because the towns would die so fast. I hope they changed that, but... You never know. The next thing that's going to start tonight at reset is this Lucky Stars event. And it looks like it goes right along with Tides of Darkness. So doing the same quests that you do for Tides of Darkness will get you um, little glass orbs that you can use to randomly open chests. And when you do that, um, you're going to unlock astrologer marks on, it looks like a bingo sheet. And as you unlock the bingo sheet, you're going to unlock chests, rewards, etc. So just more free rewards for doing what you're going to do. And I think they're incentivizing, you know, actually trying to do the quest for Tides of Darkness. Because a lot of people don't care for the event. Okay. Time to targets going on for the entire week. Um, this one is just extra gold for people who are upgrading now and spending now. And if you had really high level um, airship parts from previous upgrades, then you've already got some points. So I had 260 points for my basic uh, sky golds, a couple of precious, and you know, etc. So I had 260 points. I ended up getting, you know, 6,000 gold, which better than nothing. But this goes all the way up to getting like 120,000 gold a pop if for people who are going to max out their new enchanted airship parts. Finally, the champion gifts, the spending portion of the week. So champion gifts will be active all week and any spending you do will go towards the top up rewards in here. And there's a new March skin in here. It looks pretty cool. It's like a hybrid like um, 
Destiny slash um, Star Wars. You know, it's just... I, I don't know what it actually is, but it's... I mean, it's kind of cool. They've got lightsabers. You know, like... You guys might not know that I'm a, a Star Wars nerd, but um, I absolutely love Star Wars. And... I wish that I could afford to go for something like this, but the top up for 105,000 gold is well outside of my price range. So, and oh, and that's just for the seven day. If I want the permanent, it would be this what 1.2 million gold. That's so far outside of my my spending threshold that I can just watch other people have this amazing march and hope that someday they add something similar to. The cheaper events. Um, all right, I think that that is it for this update. I didn't find any other hidden optimizations. I checked the stores. Um, I didn't see any Spirit Mines upgrades. Actually, I didn't check Spirit Mines upgrades. Let's see if uh, I won't be able to reset it to check. But um, I think we're fine right now. I don't think it, it updated the Spirit Mines, but someone let me know if they did. All right, I really think that is it. I'll stop rambling. Um, leave me comments. Let me know if you find anything I missed. Um, let me know what you think about the videos. We will be having a lot of videos coming out in the next couple of weeks, so um, look for those, and remember to hit the like and the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber, and I'll see you in the next video.